Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name's Benson. What's yours? Uh, it's a gorgeous Saturday, actually. Actually, it's supposed to rain here in a little bit. I mean, it's gorgeous right now. It's only noon. So, hopefully it doesn't rain all day and I can mow grass because it's been like a week and a half or two weeks. No, it's been a week and a half-ish. Uh, since I'm mowing grass, so it really needs to get done. Uh, if I do, I'll probably hop on the tractor. I did get a new GoPro. Um, you've seen a little bit of the footage. Um kind of sprinkled in I don't even know if you realize it's GoPro footage but it's like a GoPro 2018 it's like between the six and the seven or between the five and the six um, but I found it on Facebook marketplace somebody had it for pretty cheap and it came with like a chest strap and stuff um, but anyways we went to Target yesterday because Kristen was looking at maternity clothes, so she got some cute stuff. We got some cute stuff for the baby. I needed this big haul because we've been buying baby stuff, like, randomly. Um, and we're trying not to buy too much stuff because the baby shower's not even until the 21st. But it's that situation where, like, we're a little better off than when we had the first two kids. So, like, we can go get the things that we want and enjoy or we think super cute. So we've been, we've gone overboard a little bit. We also got the crib because, um, I'll show you what we got. So we got a dresser with a changing board, like changing top and the changing pad, the crib, which is a convertible crib all the way up to like a full size bed. And we got Chris one of those glider chairs that you can rock the baby in that she didn't have with the first two kids and she really wanted. I got all of that from somebody that was selling it on Facebook for 250 bucks. And like the crib itself is like a $300 crib. Oh, and it came with a mattress. And it came with a full set of custom made Dumbo, like sheets and bumpers and blanket. And it's got like this um, canopy that looks like the top of a, uh, uh, shucks, top of a circus tent that goes over top of the bed and stuff. I haven't got the canopy up, the bed and everything is together, so I'll show that to you later, or maybe I'll do one big video this week showing you all the, like, cute stuff. Um, you know, not, like, every blanket, stuff like that, but, like, the special cute, like, outfits and stuff we got, so, um, what else? Oh, so we went to Target yesterday, and, uh, they had a bunch of stuff on clearance. Well, Specifically, they had a bunch of Nerf stuff on clearance, so I bought some of the Nerf Revival Balls because we shoot them and lose them. And when my sister and her kids were here middle of, beginning of July, <laughs> I basically, like, unloaded, like, 80 of them on her kids, like, and they would chase them around, and so I've lost all of those. Like, I think I have, like, six of those left, but I bought 80 brand new ones yesterday, and I bought a new pack. I bought these a couple days ago the mega nerf darts and i'll show you why so we went to goodwill i don't know back when my sister was here and i got this guy and this guy at goodwill for six dollars each so this guy holds 60 of the revival balls and this guy holds what two four six eight ten ten of the mega darts and basically you pull this back and it fires two and it just runs on the line this one you pull it back and it fires one ball from each one ball from one chamber and then you cock it again and shoot and it shoots the next ball in line so that's not all i have though so i also own because you guys i'm a big kid i'm sorry uh, i own this mega pistol then i own this revival pistol so this mega holds three this holds five and then you know i'm an overwatch fan so i own the overwatch mccree pistol which i think i've shown this before um and right now all of these are loaded and ready to go. Now, as a father of two beautiful children who he loves very, very much. Now we go to war. Let me know if you know what that's from. It's a quote from a movie. Let me know if you know what it is. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm totally going to bring the apocalypse later. But they don't know. Like, they don't know I bought ammo and everything yesterday. So... I, uh, I pulled them into a false hope because they didn't see me bring it in, but I did buy them stuff yesterday and brought it home to them. But so, like, last night while they were already in bed, like, I loaded everything up, but we're going to get them. So I'll probably put on the GoPro for that, full circle story, I'll probably put on the GoPro on the chest trap <laughs> when I attack them. <laughs> but uh, for now, um, we watched Hellboy, the new Hellboy last night. It was all right. It's not any better or worse than the other ones. 
the original two that came out. It's a little bit darker, a little bit gorier. Uh, we watched Alita Battle Angel this morning. It was pretty good. Uh, a lot of CGI and stuff to it, so it kind of is on the verge of, like, cartoony. Uh, but again, not bad. It's got a decent story. It's based on a, a graphic novel or something. Uh, I will say the ending's kind of uh, anticlimactic. Uh, but I bought Willow, and I've wanted to buy Willow for, like, two months now to show the kids. Um, but I could only find it, like, for 20 bucks because it's on Blu-ray and digital. Uh, so I went ahead and finally broke down and bought it yesterday from from Target. So I'm going to go watch Willow. I've convinced Allie to watch it with me, but Jordan doesn't want to watch it, so whatever. Whatever. Um, so we're going to watch Willow. We are doing a small low country boil because that's what Kristen wants. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what Kristen has said the baby <laughs> wants for dinner tonight. So we're going to do a low country boil. But for lunch, I'm going to eat some vegan buffalo chicken wings, you know, boneless wings or whatever. So once those are done, I'll, I'll give you my opinion on them. But I just wanted to show you this because I thought it was funny. So, anyways, I'm gonna go watch Willow. Sorry, it's dark. Uh, I guess we'd like. Okay, real quick. Sorry. Um, I also bought this at Target a few days ago. It's Avatar: The, the Last Airbender, the complete series. It's the animated version, um, and I've heard it's really, really good. Allie and I started watching. When did we start watching? Oh, Sword Art Online. It's an anime. Um, I haven't watched anime since I was like since before the kids were born, so we're talking 15 plus years. So they're really into anime, so I've been watching it with them, and I got this for us all to watch together. And then eventually I'll go back and get, there's like a series that comes after this about one of the characters, and I think her name is Korra, maybe? Uh, let's see if I see it. Oh, no, it's not on here anywhere. I think it's Korra, or, or Kira, Kira. I don't remember, but there's another... They had the complete series at Target for like 20 bucks. I'll probably go back and get that later. But anyways, I want to show you that. So that's going to be a new anime we're going to start soon. Okay, sorry. This is just a random vlog of <laughs> completely childish, nerdy things that we're into. This is why I married my wife. Um, if you know what these are, uh, Kristen saw this set at um, Target yesterday. Here's your slammer. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a, it was a four pack of slammers. It's Pogs, y'all. She bought a big starter set for Pogs because she loved it so much when she was a kid, and she wanted it again. And so we're probably gonna end up playing Pogs uh, today or tomorrow. Um, she's finishing up a baby blanket right now while we watch Willow and eat lunch and wait on her low country boil. Um, but I just thought I'd show you that to you. Pogs. All right, so what we're gonna try is Morning Stars, Morning Star Farms Veggie Classic Buffalo Wings, hot and spicy veggie buffalo wings with a crispy <coughs> breading. So five wings is 200 calories, 21 grams of carbs, three dietary fiber, so that's actually about 18 carbs, and then 13 grams of protein. So again, kind of high in carbs, but some of that comes from the fact that it's plant based. Um, one of the things they say is you can make like buffalo sliders or a chicken buffalo lettuce wraps or something like that. So this is what they look like. So they try and make them look like wings, uh, drumettes or whatever. So we'll try it just plain. Got a nice subtle heat to them. You know, like a very mild buffalo sauce. It doesn't taste like buffalo. They just have a mild spice to them. Um, very chicken nuggety, to be honest with you. If you are going from being a meat eater to like a vegetarian, they look like Wendy's chicken nuggets on the inside. They have the same texture as chicken nuggets. Now, um, but you can kind of see like these little tendrils that come off. You can tell it like rips very like plant like, not meat like. But it's not bad. Does I don't it mind taste these. Like a chicken nugget? Uh, it's, yeah, because I mean, chicken nuggets don't have don't, chicken nuggets don't even taste like chicken. So that's the weird thing. You want to try this? Well, it's spicy. I'll be okay. Okay. I have a drinker here. Anyway. Alright. See, it's just, it's got the same texture as a chicken yeah. nugget. So, mm -hmm. you can have the rest of it. So, they're not bad. Yeah. So, it does say if you want them extra crispy to flip them halfway through baking. I think I should let them go longer. They're not as crispy. I like my nuggets and my chicken, if it's breaded, to be super crispy on the outside. Like, almost to the point that it tears up your gums. <laughs> 
uh, but that's just me. So, but anyways, I'm gonna eat these for lunch. We're watching Willow. I realized beginning of Willow how like Harry Potter this movie really is. Like, a baby is born that's gonna destroy the evil queen, and it's got a mark on it, and you know, so it's kind of funny. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna watch Willow now. All right. So, um, we are going to make a low country boil. Normally, this is done outside, and it's done in a ginormous pot. Uh, because you're usually cooking one of these for 40 people, 20 people, um, but Kristen wants one. When a pregnant lady says she wants something, you make it happen. Uh, so we're going to do a low country boil. Now, some of these have crawfish. Most of them have shrimp, sausage, corn, and potatoes. That's your good basis. Get your small red potatoes. Get your favorite brand of Link sausage, not that breakfast stuff. Get you some good shrimp and just some corn. Uh, the longest part of this is cooking the potatoes. Normally this is done outside with a, like a turkey fryer set up with the same side with a turkey fryer pot. So you've got like a fire under it and it boils faster and then it doesn't take so long to cook. But we go with the small red potatoes so they cook a little bit faster. All in all, this cook time's maybe 30, 45 minutes. And most of that is just cooking the potatoes. Uh, you're really just going to cook the potatoes till they hit soft, so we probably get those done in 15 minutes as long as we stay at a high boil. And shrimp doesn't take very long, it takes like two minutes maybe, so that goes in very last. And uh, then sausage. Now with sometimes what we'll do is we'll pre-boil some eggs, say a dozen or so. You pre-boil those eggs till they're a soft boil or um, just enough to where the, the white's mostly cooked on the outside and then you crack them so they have cracks running through them and then you throw those in at the same time as you throw the shrimp in um, or just before the shrimp so they have a little bit of time to cook and you let those cook in that sauce and all the um, seasoning and stuff and they'll pull the seasoning through the cracks that you made and you'll have a good spicy egg. So normally this is made with Old Bay. Um, I am out of Old Bay. I know, sacrilegious, I apologize. But I do have Slap Your Mama. This stuff's pretty good too. So we're gonna get that in there. We're waiting on it to heat up. Got our big pot here. It's on, waiting for the water to warm up. And then we're gonna dump in the seasonings and the potatoes and let those cook and get soft and then everything else is going in um i don't know i might try something have some some scallops then i might try in a low country boil we'll take fancy and we'll make it country again now i'm sure you're wondering how much seasoning goes into a low country boil a pot this size so this is probably a three or four gallon stock pot um, enough to kill somebody. <laughs> the reason I say that is the whole point of a low country boil is this is meant to be flavorful and spicy and make your nose run and your lips burn and it's supposed to make it burn for a while. So we got, I don't know, maybe two gallons in this stock pot. As far as that, that's where the seasoning comes up to. And now I'm sure the back tells you, let's it's gonna be good and spicy. Oh, I just got a whiff of it. it smells so good. Ah, uh, where's my spoon? So good. You know it's gonna smell so good. It's gonna burn so good. Oh yeah. Uh, I actually added some peps or some dehydrated peppers that we had to this one because uh, I really, really want to make sure it burns. Actually, I just like spicy, Kristen. Kristen's washing dishes, that's what the noise is. Um, actually, she's just washing Arctic, R-T-I-C. The company that makes coolers and stuff had a sale going on last week. They still have it going on, I think. And so I bought a gallon, I bought two of their gallon water jugs and a couple of their like lunch containers. I didn't realize how big a gallon metal jug was gonna be. Cause I was like, oh, I'll get this and we'll take it. I'm looking at it now. I'll get this and I'll take it into the park. Oh, I'm gonna take it in the park, but it is massive. So, should be plenty of water. I'm gonna show it to you real quick. Let this boil. Uh, get your seasonings in before it starts to boil. That way they can, it can really flavor the water. Um, check your season, make sure it's got salt in it. If it doesn't, you might have to add salt, but. Mm. 
it's bigger than my head. That is a low country boy. Uh, that's super easy. You're literally just boiling food. What I would say, if you time it just right, the potatoes, you know, when potatoes are done, you want to be able to stick a fork or a butter knife in them and it just kind of slide through and the potatoes slide off. So if you want to stick it and then it get a little bit of catch where the center's almost done, then you throw your shrimp or your sausage in because your sausage only needs about five or ten minutes because you're really just getting it warm. And then about the time that your potatoes are soft and go, you drop your shrimp in and... Um, they just got to cook for like two or three minutes. Don't go any more than two or three minutes or your shrimp's going to get tough. Uh, another little side hack I told you about the putting boiled eggs in it. I also will do mushrooms every now and you just get whole mushrooms and drop them in there for about the last two to three minutes as well with the shrimp. And those mushrooms will suck all that juice in, all those spices and everything, and they become like little flavor bombs. So just a little thing. But the war I mentioned earlier didn't happen today because we got busy but it will come there will be war anyways hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today we love you guys till tomorrow